YouTube and welcome to bonus content Sundays. So today my mom was like, go dust your toy collection. And I was like, I don't want to dust my toy collection because everything is nicely set up. And if I dust it, then I'll have to take everything off and it'll all be ruined. But then I thought that I have been wanting to do a showing off my toy collection kind of thing. Um for YouTube and for a bonus content Sunday episode so I was like well I'll just kill two birds with one stone and I'll be able to dust it then I can like rearrange it a little bit so yeah here is my toy action figure plushie uh, collection alright so the first thing that I have are these little um, Wizard of Oz character toy things that um, were from a McDonald's Happy Meal that I had someone get for me. I usually, I like having people go get me like Happy Meals and stuff when they have like a toy that I like because sometimes they'll have like Pokemon or they'll have like My Little Pony or something. So I'll be like, oh, that's cute. I want that for my collection. So then I asked them to get it. And um, I have the Scarecrow. I have the Wicked Witch of the West. East, I don't know. Um, the Tin Man, and I have the Cowardly, oh, Cowardly Lion. I was like, I have him somewhere. Uh, the Cowardly Lion, right here. Um, next I have an Axew that I got from Five Below, and I probably got it as like a present or something. I don't know. Um, then I have a Spring Mario from Super Mario Galaxy. I got this at a little toy shop on the boardwalk of Wildwood, and it had so much cool stuff. I also, that brings me to my next thing, I also got this um, Dark Nut, I think. I think that's what it is. I'm super bad with Zelda enemies. I'm super bad with that. But, um... I got this little toy um, from that toy store too and it came with this little like stand and a Triforce shard but they all, it came apart and I have to put it back together later. The next things I have are these two My Little Pony they were actually Play-Doh toys, and I found them in my basement, and I was like, oh my god, My Little Pony stuff. I'm gonna put it in my toy collection, and actually, um, I never, I was never really into My Little Pony that much. Like, I, I think, like, a lot of people say it's, like, good. It might be. Maybe I'll, like, watch a few episodes, but, um, uh, if you, if you think it's really good, just let me know, but I know for, I know that this is Pinkie Pie. I know that. I have no idea what this one is, so oosh, let me know. I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but I just thought they were cool. I just thought My Little Pony's cool, so I put it in my toy collection. Um, next is actually a series of things. Um, the first thing is a um, Clefairy um, toy. Like, it's like, oh, there's so much dust. There's like a little roller at the bottom and these were actually Burger King in like 1999 I don't know like my birth year or whatever when Pokemon the first movie was a big thing Burger King had like these big Pokemon toy things and they were actually really cool and there were like a lot of them and I found out about these from like watching like a YouTube video about it and I was like wow I really want some so I went on eBay and was looking at them and I found a pretty good price for one and it comes in like a Pokeball keychain and I actually don't know where that is so I need to find that but it came in like a Pokeball keychain and it came, and this was the toy I got, and it's a little, like, roller, and I guess you, like, roll it on your hand or something, and then it, like, spins around, which I think is cool, but I just also thought it was really cool to own this, to have a Burger King toy from 1999, because that was the year I was born, so obviously I wouldn't have had one myself otherwise. And that was on top, like, I have, like, things kind of, like, strategically placed, because there's, like, so much stuff and not enough room, but she, or he 
was sitting on top of this little trophy thing with these keychains. But the trophy, I was in a TV show on PBS um, over the summer last year. And there was a premiere early, well, not early, but like September, October-ish of last year. And they gave us these little trophies for being a part of it. And so I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. And so I put it with my toy collection, just kind of like to show off. And I've got little Eevee keychain. I think I got, I think I got it at Comic Con. I cannot remember. And then I got, I have this, which I got at a GameStop um, one time. Don't know why. I don't know when, but I got it at a GameStop. And now I'm going to move on to my vinyl, 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 vinylmation um, figurines from Disney. And I started collecting them for a while. And I do want to get back into it because there's so many. But I did start collecting them for a little bit. Um, and some of them, I, because you get random ones. And some of them, I just have no idea what they are. Like this one, I have no idea what this is. I really don't. I, I feel like I'm a big Disney fan, but like, I think it's like a Muppets thing. Wait, I wonder if it says on the bottom. Oh! Oh, it's the Greek god Pan. Is that even a Disney thing? It says, it says myths and legends, and then Pan. And like, I mean, I'm really into Greek mythology. And I've read my fair share of Percy Jackson books, but like, Okay, I would not, I would not have gotten that. <laughs> and then the next one here is Janice. Yeah, Janice from the Muppets, I think. Yeah, from the Muppets. <laughs> it's not a big Muppets fan either. Well, like, I know, I know, I know my um, basic knowledge of the Muppets. But yeah, this is Janice. And I really like this one. She's like a hippie chick. It's so cool. So maybe I'll watch the Muppets, bits, so she'll be like my favorite character. And then the next vinylmation I have is Ham from Toy Story. It has a little hat. And I wonder if this hat, no, the hat doesn't come off. The hat on some of them comes off, which is weird, but Ham. Um, then Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet. This is hilarious. She's eating her curds and whey. Up, oh, and then the spider. This one's cute. And this one's really well made too. And this was from the Nursery Rhymes collection. Um, this, oh, this one is from like, Cutesters Like You, which was like supposed to be kind of like more like human resembling characters. And she's like, it says, it says like school girl. It looks like, she looks like an anime school girl. Like, for real. Like, unless you like went to like a Japanese like private school, you wouldn't look like this. But, yep, this is school girl. Or, schooly. Um, and then next is this um, Disney Cruise Line exclusive, which I got on the Disney. <gasps> the arm popped off! Oh my god, this is the Disney, you can, okay, no, it's a self. You cannot push these arms past the two because they'll fall off. But, um, this is the Disney Cruise Line exclusive from the Disney Dream, which was the cruise that I was on. There's, like, different ships, and only, like, two of them have the, um, water coaster that goes outside of the ship. And I was on that one, and you got... You got this, and the name of that ride was called the Aqueduct, and that's why I got this. And so I like I got it because you can't get this anywhere else. And so that's really cool, cool collectible. Um, this next one was one I got in the Disney parks right when they first introduced these. So this one is kind of rare. And I wonder if it even like has a name. No, it just has an artist. And it's called and the artist is Maria Clapsis. 
and this was, this is, I guess, obviously a Disney Park exclusive. Now they're selling them in Disney stores all over the place. But this, I feel like, would be pretty rare now. But I really like this one a lot. And I think it's really cool. Um, and next, I think, is another Cutesters Like Me one. Um, it's called Frenchie. It's a little French girl. So I guess it is, I guess it is all over the world stuff. Um, so, that would explain the, like, Japanese anime school girl. But, um, yeah, je t'aime. Yeah, I love you. I'm sure that says, okay, if I'm wrong, let me know. But, yep, little French girl. This is the, this is the cutest one. I love, I love her. And here is another, another, um, Disney Park exclusive. And this one's so cool. I love this one. The artist is... I can't read it. But, um, I really like this one. I love the space. The back. The back is really cool. There's, like, a shooting star and everything. Front, you're kind of lacking. But I like the front, too. And then, um, I don't really know what this one is. I f it, but I know, I know it's from, like, the old Mickey Mouse cartoons. It's from the, um, Have a Laugh series, Mr. Mouse Takes a Trip, 1940. That's way before my years. But it's way before my parents' years. Um, yeah. I'm sure that's, like, when, I'm sure my grandma was born after that. But, um, yeah. I don't, I don't really know much about this character but it's cool I think the hat comes no the hat doesn't come off this one either one of them the hat comes off um oh this is the one that the hat comes off okay so that this like one doesn't have a hat I don't know why I just like put it on there for some reason but maybe I shouldn't this is a Disney Park exclusive artist is Mike Sullivan um and so much dust. Um, it's like supposed to look like the old cartoons. Super cool. It's probably really rare. And the back's like um, Mickey Mouse. The end. But um, so I think that's cool. This one. This is another Muppet, and the hat. The hat goes on this one. The hat belongs for him. But it's, this is another Muppet. I think the name is like Floyd something, uh, Floyd Pepper. This is Floyd Pepper from the Muppets. And back. And, um, there's one more Vinylmation. This one's like resting somewhere else, so I had to go up and get it. But this was like a Fantasia. Um, one, 25, it's a 25 Disney Store anniversary. And it's like Fantasia Mickey. And if I put it on here, um, if I put it on here and turn it on, probably it doesn't even work anymore. But it it should be lighting. Oh oh oh! I got it! I got it to work. So it lights up. Get that light effects. Um, yeah, it lights up. All right, my next thing is um, Sagrada Familia from Barcelona. Um, I actually, I don't know who got me this. I think it was like my aunt or something. I don't know, like someone in my family went to Barcelona and they got this as a souvenir. And it's, I guess, of a castle called Sagrada Familia. I'm just guessing. I really don't know much about Spain. But I think it's so cool. And I love things from other countries. Because, I don't know. Hopefully one day I'll be the one traveling to other countries and getting stuff for other people. But until then, this is cool enough. Um, next, I have a Babam. We are sex Babam! No, I have a Babam and um, it had candy in it. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember where the candy was, like where it came from. But there was there was like can there was candy in this, 
And then I used all of it, so now it's just a little toy I have. I got this at like five below. And I love getting the little candy things at five below that you can like collect. I have a um like a string of like soda can, like the little soda can candies. Um over my desk. My next thing is this is really cool. It's um a Lego Ash Ketchum. That was, it was like modded. Um, like, there's a Pokeball here. It's kind of like a Pokeball. And then uh, to the top attached is a little Pikachu. It has like a sticker over it, so it was modded to be like, and then you can like, you can like turn the face to make it like, like, <sighs> ready for battle. The hat's turned around. You know, you know it's legit. Um, Next thing is a um, Mr. Daydream toy from Burger King. No, oh, no, from Arby's, I think. Oh God, I don't even I don't even eat at Arby's anymore. I don't. But back when I um I got this Mr. Daydream toy, and it's really cute. I just, I love, um, fast food toys, even though I might, I don't always like fast food. Um, this is another McDonald's toy that I had my mom get for me. It's a Princess Peach Mario Kart 8 toy. You can tell it's Mario Kart 8 because the anti-gravity wheels. But, yeah, it, it vroom, vroom, vrooms. Um, and I think, I don't know. Oh, no, this isn't the one you can put stickers on. You can put stickers on the Yoshi one, but, um, yeah, and, um, yeah, so, um, speaking of which, the Yoshi one right here, um, I put a sticker on the front of the car, but I actually, I used the other stickers and I put them on my computer, but now they're, like, they came off, so, like, yeah, Yoshi, they see me rolling, they hating me. Patrol in the trying to catch me riding dirty. Um next I have oh my god, is is, is it stuck? <laughs> next I have Disney Infinity Vanellope von Schweetz. I actually don't even have Disney Infinity. I just and I, I think I do want to get it at some point, but I just like I just saw her and I was like I do not have a Vanellope figure, and I don't know where I would ever find one. And I love Vanellope. I dressed up as her for Halloween, but yep, this is my Vanellope um, Disney Infinity figure. Um, it looks well made. The hands are kind of weird, but um, for what it's worth, I love it. Um, and then speaking, and then in that category, kind of. I'm gonna move on to my amiibos. This is my Kirby amiibo that I got for Christmas. I think, yeah, all of these amiibos I got for Christmas from somebody, whether it was from my parents or like from relatives. Um, amiibos are usually easy things that I can like ask for because I really do want to collect ami amiibos, but some of them are already so hard to find. Some of them are already so hard to find. And um, yeah, but this is my Kirby. Um, I think my sister, I think my sister uses Kirby, but I don't even know. This is my main. Peach is my main. And, um, so I was like, Mom, I definitely have to get a Peach because she's my main. But I love the Peach. And the next amiibo, and I have to, like, reach really far back, um, is Pikachu. And I, um... I think I got this from like another relative too. There's not really much to say about this. I don't really use Pikachu. My sister doesn't really use Pikachu. I just like to have it to collect. And then I also, for my birthday, I also got two new Amiibos, which I showed on my vlog, on my vlogging channel, which you guys could go check out. But here's my Toon Link Amiibo. And I'm keeping these in the box because, I don't know, I want to keep some in the box. Um, and Zelda. I actually should have kept my Kirby and Pikachu ones in the box because I'd probably use these guys more than I would use my Kirby and Pikachu. But, you know, the next thing is a Princess Peach toy. This was really old from Burger King. 
Um, I think you like roll it back or you wind it back like the wheels and she like moves. But um, I don't, they had these little, they had little Wiimotes. They, and I wish I could find the rest of these because some of these were really cool. But they had like little Wiimotes that you stuck into this hole and then she would like do things. So I don't even think it works without the Wiimote. But I don't know. I still think it's cool and I'm glad that I still have the Peach. But there was a Luma and a Paper Mario one and I really, I don't even know what happened to those. But I really wish I kept them because they were really cool. Um, I'm going to work a little closer now. Um, these are some plushies. Um, this is... Oh my god, there's so much dust. This is a seal. Seal or sea lion? Does it say on a tag? I actually have no clue if this is a seal or a sea lion. Or maybe it's not either. I don't know. But I got this at SeaWorld uh, when I went to San Diego. And, um, yeah, enough said. Uh, next is a Toon Link plushie. Um, this one I think actually is the Four Swords design. Or Phantom Hourglass. Which, I mean, Phantom Hourglass is, like, slightly different from Wind Waker, though I don't really, like, consider it differently. Only because, like, um, it's on the DS and not the GameCube, and there's a little bit of a different design yeah, this is, this is the Phantom Hourglass design, but I don't know. I just call it, like, Wind Waker's Inc. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't, I can't remember exactly where I got this. I want to say, like, Hot Topic. Yeah, I, pro I probably got this at Hot Topic somewhere. Oh, and do you know how I said I couldn't find that Pokeball earlier? Well, my camera had run out of memory, so I had to go put it on my computer. But as I was looking, I found the Pokeball. That my little, if I can find her, him, whatever, my little Clefairy came in. And so this was from 1999, Burger King Pokeball toy. It's really, it's really well made. Like, I don't know. I would put something in this. I don't know what. And I don't know what I would, I don't know what. And I don't know what I would attach it to. But I would put something in this. Next, I have um, a strawberry shortcake character. And I was really into strawberry shortcake. So, um, aside for not doing my research and brushing up on strawberry shortcake, but I, I don't really know what the name of this girl is. She was like a gingerbread. I know she was like gingerbread, and she has a little gingerbread on her head. But I don't, I don't want to make like any assumptions, but I cannot remember who she was. And I don't really want to look because I'm lazy. So moving on, um, Toy Story, peas in a pod, one, two, kind of like different faces, and three. No, and they don't really have different faces, just some of them are smiling a little wider. But these things are so cute, I love the peas. The peas. Um, next I have a little thing that I made. Um, it's a Wacka clay thing from Paper Mario. And as you can see, he has a little bump. But it didn't really turn out that well because I put the, like, broiler on when I was baking it. So it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to. But, you know. Um, here is a deerling. Little deerling. Um, I got this at Five Below. Enough said. Uh, this is a little ghost toy. Um, Ghostry.com. This was meant to be promotion for the game or company or whatever. I don't know. I never really looked it up. Maybe I should. I'll look up Ghostry and y'all should too. But no, this isn't product placement. I'm not being paid to say this. But I got this at um, Comic Con from a vending booth. And I thought that... This was really cute, and I just wanted to put it with my toy collection, so yeah. Alright, this is my little Yoshi plushie um, I got from, I want to say Hot Topic, but it could have been that um, store in Wildwood. Oh my god, like, all these things are so dusty, I can't even. But, um, yeah, this is a little Yoshi plush. Um, pink, super cute, love Yoshi's. 
Uh, I totally want to get one in every color. I really do. Um, next thing is um, Victoria's Secret dog. I used to collect these. I really should. I really want to collect more of these. Um, I only have like two, but I'll get to the other one later. Next is a toad, a little toad plush, yellow. I think I think I got this at that store in Wildwood. Either that or Hot Topic. I really have a bad memory, but most of my plushes I've we've gotten from Hot Topic or that Wildwood store. So or Comic Con. I have a few plushes that I got from Comic Con in New York over the past year. Next. Up next, I have these two little toys that I got from Five Below called Shopkins, and they came in this adorable little shopping cart. And I think they're like pencil toppers, but no one's going to use this. Um, we've got Jelly, and we've got... Do you have a name? This one doesn't have a name, but it's an ice cream cone. So, that's cute. Um, next, I have a Minion toy um I think he says things maybe I don't I don't know guess not he doesn't do anything he's boring um then I have some little glass um things and these are super hard to see they're super tiny but this is a hedgehog made out of glass um, a starfish, and a turtle, and I can't remember where I got these, but it was somewhere in New Jersey, I can't remember where, next, um, baby Luigi, plush, I got this at Comic Con, this is just the cutest little thing, I love it, I love it so much, um, oh, I forgot this, this is a little card, for Vanellope, for the Disney Infinity thing. Um, next, I have a Honey Lemon Pop figure. Um, I think this is the only pop figure that I have, but I should really get more. I love the pop figures. But yep, this is Honey Lemon from Big Hero 6. Really, I love this. It's really well done. Um, another strawberry shortcake girl that I do not know who she is for the life of me. This is going to haunt me. I'm going to look it up after I'm finished filming this and I'm going to let you guys know who these characters are because I am dying. I need to know, because strawberry shortcake used to be my favorite thing in the world. Um, okay, up next I have a Crumbelina di Carmelo um, plush from Wreck-It Ralph. She was one of the Sugar Rush girls. Um, yeah, I keep forgetting like their names, but this is Crumbelina di Carmelo. Um, and speaking of Sugar Rush... Then I also have a candle head. Um, I have candle head and her car. And there's this little thing, and if you stick it in, you can like push it out and she'll shoot out and go places. So that's a really cool toy, I think. Um, next, we're getting into the big plushies that are in the back now. Um, Piglet, enough said, probably got it at the Disney store somewhere. Piglet is my favorite Pooh character. Love Piglet. Um, little plush bear from when I worked at PBS, they gave me a plush bear as like a, um, thank you for working with them. So that's a nice memory. Um, little penguin plush. This thing is adorable. Just look at those eyes. On the eyes of an angel. Um, I, um, Lady Rain. I have a Lady Rainicorn plush. 
It's really long. Bender in two. Um, and then I have a Hotsune Miku plush. This one I love. It's so, there's so much detail on this little plush. Um, I got this at Hot Topic. Like, look at this. I really want, like, a Rin, um, plushie. But I like Katsune Miku, too, so, um, that's it. And then, in the very back, my Hershey's pillow. Can you guys, I don't know if the camera can see all the dust. This is really bad. Okay, so, Hershey's pillow. Um... And then I have a licorice cat. It's not actually made out of licorice. Don't be misled. Um, licorice cat was this thing that the American Girl Company did, like by having little like pets. I have no idea if they still do this now, but when I was a kid, they had little pets. Like they had like caramel, and they were all named after like candies. And this was licorice the cat. So cute. And then to go with Licorice the Cat, there was um, Coconut. I think Coconut. It has to be Coconut. There was Coconut the dog. Or Coco. Co coconut sounds more realistic, but Coconut the dog is the cutest thing. The arms of an angel. It's the cutest thing in the world. I really, I want a real life coconut dog. I really hope that's the name of it. God, I'm so bad with names. Um, next is a little monkey nub. I don't know where I got that. I don't even know. Um, a little Webkins. This is a Webkins penguin. So you can, um, Webkins were all the rage when I was in third grade. And, um, I had so many, but this penguin was my favorite one it's a mini like they had like big penguins and they had like mini penguins and this was the mini and it's my favorite webkins um next is um victoria's secret pink dog this is my second one um vote for pink must have been some kind of like campaign or whatever they were doing but i <sighs> These are, these are the two, um, but I, I found more on, like, Winello, more pink dogs, and so, I don't know, um, I got a Minun plushie, I don't know where I got this, but this was from a long time ago, and I know this because I, um, when I was little, there was a point where I grew out of Pokemon, heaven forbid, and I sold all of my stuff at a yard sale, and I, like, this was, this somehow survived, so good for you, Minun, you survived the, um, selection process. Um, next item is my big brother... Rubber Ducky. Big Brother is a reality TV show for some for those of you who do not know. But um it's a reality TV show and um the people like go into a house and they have to live with each other and you can get like you can like vote each other off. It's like Survivor but like in a house and stuff. And um they always have a rubber ducky in the pool and so this was kind of like a promotional item that they had for it. I think this is the coolest thing. <laughs> Squeak's weird. Um, yeah, but um, then next I have a little, it says Solar Mako. Solar Mako. Um, it's a little solar Japanese um, kind of thing. I got this in Disney, in Epcot. They had a Japanese store in like their, Jap the, their mini Japan area. And that was my favorite store, by the way. They had so much Pokemon plushies, but I didn't get any. I just got, I just got this. But this thing is really cool, and I'm glad that I did get it. In fact, here I have a pearl. 
I think is the name of this character. It's from Finding Nemo, and I, it had, yeah, it has, it has to be Pearl. It has to be. Um, but it's like little squid. It's like you made me ink. That character. So yeah. All right, we're almost done. Here is my taffeta plushie that goes along with my Crumbelina plushie. They're best friends. I really wish there was one of Vanellope, but so far there isn't. And if there is, it's probably like impossible to get. I'm dropping everything. It's probably like impossible to get. So I have a taffeta. I love it anyway. Um, here is a Kirby plushie. These were like McDonald's or Burger King toys. They're little Pokemon. And I have Blastoise and Helioptile. So that's cool. And they came in these little Pokeballs. And you were supposed to like shoot them out or something and like, um, battle with them, I guess, by the system. But I don't know. It seemed kind of weird. I just have them for, for show. So, and I have a little gold... Eiffel Tower ornament. I do not know where I got this. I just keep it on my bed for some reason. It's kind of cool. And then I have a little blue peep. I live in the area where peeps are made. I really don't... <laughs> I don't want someone to come kidnap me. But peeps are big where I live because that's where they were invented so or whatever I don't know but like there are like two peep there's like a peep store and that's where I got this and when I went I know when I went to MAGFest like there where I where MAGFest was there was like a peep store too but I got this one at the local peep store so that's cool and then I have a sock monkey Self-explanatory, it's a sock monkey. I don't even, can't even begin to tell you where I got this. I don't even know. But yeah. Oh. And last but not least, I have um, a penguin pillow pet that I got at the mall. And some American Girl dolls. I know the one in the middle is Mia from 2009. The one on the left is Lainey, but I cannot remember the name of the one on the right. But I know she's Julie's friend. Um, I don't know. I'll put the name up on screen when I remember. But, um, yeah. So, I also have, going down here, a Bulbasaur plushie that I got from Comic-Con. A Pikachu that I got from a while ago and a Luma from Comic Con and that is about it now I do have some other toys kind of laying around but as for my main toy collection that is it hope you guys liked it uh, like comment and subscribe also make sure to check out my new vlogging channel I'll put a link somewhere around here and yeah go check it out because I love vlogging and I'm gonna post all my vlogs there instead of on my main channel so yeah <laughs>